The Salton Sea was this tourist destination area up until the 70s where there's boats, there's yacht clubs, people were fishing, there's wildlife. And what ends up happening through, whether it was farm irrigation or just the California droughts and they stopped having water runoff coming into this lake, the salinity levels started rising, which became toxic for the fish. The fish started dying. The birds that were eating the fish started dying. And just all over the banks of the lake, there was just dead animals, dead fish. The stench is gross. Therefore, the town which was going to be this killer tourist destination. Like think of the desert, think of Palm Springs, how hip, how cool that is to have a lake out in the middle of the desert where it's just hot, you want to be in the water. And so there's this town built up around this lake and this destination, which is now essentially deserted. And we woke up super early to come out here, get some sunrise shots, shoot the town, document the town, some of these old dilapidated buildings. And just like, it's really sad. It's this little bit of history to this old abandoned town that could have been something great, but because of nature and because of the way things went, it's deserted. It feels invasive if like people are living here and I'm shooting their stuff. So we're gonna be doing some side by sides of two different kinds of Fuji, the Fuji film Provia and the Velvia. They're both E6 slide film. So E6 is the processing material for it, but if you've heard of slide film where you see the slides, it's a color positive film. And the Velvia is, technically it's a little bit more saturated of a film, where the Provia is a little bit more neutral. But want to do side by sides. So we've got the X-Pan and then the 6.7, the Pentax 6.7. And just because I don't have two Hasselblads, I'm sorry. But uh, the X-Pan is one of my favorite cameras. I love that thing for landscapes or just, I, I love panoramics. But yeah, I think it'll be really neat seeing those two films right next to each other just to even look at them. But slide film gets a ton of detail and it's also very precise. So we'll be bracketing, shooting, and then comparing the differences. It'll be a fun one with this pink building. Just I'm really interested to see Velvia versus the Provia and yeah, this really pastel -y old beat up pink. Should look nice. My guess is slide film's not gonna do the best in a backlit situation. It's more of a film, it's gorgeous for landscapes. And you, the detail that you get in slide film is just incredible. Uh, but yeah, gonna be trying this. I, I usually shoot backlit, but backlit works really well with color negative film because you can basically blow out your highlights, they still retain. So I'm, I'm just really interested to see how these are gonna look because I wanna see how the colors look, especially in contrasting the Provia versus the Velvia and see what pops or not, or just like what the differences are, but also hoping that it comes out backlit.
So out exploring and at Bombay Beach, which is an, I don't know if it's an abandoned car lot, but it's a Bombay Beach drive-in. So that they intentionally park these cars here, but they're these really killer old fashioned cars that are dilapidated and just patinaed in the best way. Um, but so yeah, walking around shooting, gonna be, got the X-Pan, had the mixture of the Velvia in here, the Provia in there, and again, comparing the two. There's some frames that'll look really awesome on the 6.7 with that just really thick negative, but then other things were just like this shot that we're doing right here, which is just the front grille of a car in panoramic. I think it's gonna look really, like that's probably gonna be my absolute favorite shot. But I'm super excited to see these. And then also, because I'm shooting at F16, F22, to really examine the detail that shows up in the slide film, because that is that is what like when people shoot slide film, especially if you're shooting landscape F22, where you have this incredible depth of field, the detail that shows up in slide film is incredible. So I'm excited to go and look through, look at those just in a deeper way as we're going back and showing you the photos. wanted to get this white on white, this old couch, but you got the white rocks and the white background and I'm gonna try to get so there's no shadows on there. So the sun is coming straight on this way here. Let's see how that looks. Let me show you something. that is hopefully consistent throughout these videos is to get out and play and try new things. And there's part of it too, I, I get it, like there's costs that are involved. So we're trying to do some of that playing for you to show you what different films can do, why you would use those different films. This is slide film, it's different than color negative film. And I mean, it is widely used by landscape photographers, product photographers because of the detail that it retains in the negatives. And for something like this, where this is sort of landscape, sort of old cars, sort of old homes, like what a, what a neat film to play with. So again, it's, it's a look. It's different than how Portra 400 looks or Fuji 400H looks or any of the other film stocks. And it's, it's just another tool in your arsenal to play with. So we sell film in our shop. You can get some, links are down below. Love having you as part of this community and just again, hoping to encourage you to get out and shoot more, have fun, learn something as you're watching these videos and really hope you did. So until the next one, we will see you around.